Okay, welcome. This assignment we're going to learn how to um, align text on the page. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the the file. So I'm going to come up here to file, open, and I'm going to click on the alignment. Okay, because that's the file we're going to use. All right, here it opens up. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. So that's the wrong file. <laughs> um, let's go open. Let's do that alignment one right there. There we go. This is what your page will look like. Okay. Sorry about that. So first thing we need to do on this assignment here is to click up here where it says your name. Now you notice it's kind of grayed out up here as compared to this. That's because it's up inside a header and it's in a it's kind of protected. So if we double click up here, we can go come up here and insert our name. Okay, and I also want you to put your period number right up there as well. Okay, here's the title over here and just hit close. Okay, now that was one way to go into the header. That's the, probably the easiest way, but you can also go up here into insert header. This is actually how you create a new header. And you can go in there. Okay, we're going to edit the header down here. All right, and see, that's just the same thing we did. Is rather than just double clicking it, that's how you can do it too. Now, right here, over on the far right of the ribbon, is our close header footer. We can either click that or just click down, double click down here in the text, and you're done. Okay. Now we're going to talk about. Um, aligning our text here on the page. Now this right here in parentheses says we need to do this paragraph uh, a center. So right up here in our paragraph group on our home tab or our home ribbon we have left, center, right, and justify. Sometimes it's called full, sometimes it's called justify. Okay. So all we gotta do is click the center button right there and it moves it over to the center. Okay, on this assignment, on this paragraph, highlight it like that. It says full or justify. Well, we, yours probably says just full. I added justified on mine. So we got left, center, right, and justify right up there. Okay, now you notice what just happened. I want you to watch down here as I click on the left button up here. So watch, here we go. Notice it, it squished the words together, and I go back over here and do a justify. It, it spreads them out a little bit. Okay, that's what the difference is. And, and so what it does is it makes it look like both the left and the right of the paragraph are touching the margins. Okay, if you look in your textbooks, in your reading books, that's the way they're written. It's to just make it look more uniform. Okay? Uh, when you're writing letters and um, reports, you don't do that. Okay, the next one here is left, so we're going to highlight that one. Okay, left, if you look up here, you notice the left one's already highlighted, so we don't have to do anything with that one. Okay, now the next one right here, let's highlight this one. And we come up here, we got left, center, and right, and it wants to, a right. So now this one on the right side is touching the margin, and on the left it's kind of jagged in like that. Okay, and while we're here, I want you to take a look. We got two different, uh, two different uh, spell check things going on here. The red underline right here means that it's spelt wrong or not in the dictionary. So if we right-click on it, it gives us a choice up here 
we could either ignore or add it to the dictionary or hey it even suggested what it's supposed to be spelt like okay so let's do that uh, for your purposes do not add anything to the dictionary just come up and click on the suggestion okay now if it's something like uh, Twilla or your name or something like that it's not in the dictionary don't add it there because it doesn't need to be there just ignore it okay um, here's another one it's got the green underline under it there and what that is is it's, it's a, gram a grammar check so if we look at right here it uh, gives us a couple suggestions okay and so you can select one of those two right there but since this is a uh, um, oh it's it's just a saying so we're just gonna right click on it and we're gonna ignore this one okay and it gets rid of those lines now those lines are not printable they don't print out or anything like that so you know sometimes you don't you can just ignore them and don't worry but definitely definitely check the red underline because that's a misspelling okay if it has an underline under it that is blue that means you got the wrong form of the word in other words if I were to come down here and put TWO in there and hit a space sometimes it will pop up I don't know why it's not doing it here maybe if we do a spell check review Okay. Um, apparently it liked it, but we know it's wrong. But if you get the blue underline, that means you got the wrong form of the word. So w just kind of watch that. Okay, go ahead and save this file and upload it.